Hello and welcome again to the channel. I know it's been a long time, but today I'm going to answer a very important question that I actually received in the comments and I'm sure you're going to enjoy not only what the structure of the question is, but also what the answer implies. I know that's a mouthful, but here it is. Let's go. So first, the question here says, how scientists create equations? How do they create equations? They are also humans like us. But why we cannot make the formulas of natural phenomenons? And they can, he says. And he says, what are formulas? What actually are formulas? So to rephrase that, how is it possible that there are scientists out there that can create all of these incredible equations and all this math while they have five fingers like us, they have one brain like us. Why can they do it, but we cannot do it, our friend asks. And do you know what it sounds like to me? Do you know what I'm hearing when I listen to a question like this? My friend, what you're saying to me is exactly like saying, why can't anyone speak German? Why can't anyone speak Spanish? Why can't everybody speak every single language that's out there? Do you know why I say that? I'm gonna explain to you what I mean. It is because math is actually a language. What I'm saying here is you, me, and everybody else can actually make equations as long as you first understand nature and you translate what you're saying from your language to a universal language that every single person in the world speaks and that language is math. Math is a language. When you look at a formula, when you look at an equation, what you're reading, this is not a code that the, the scientist just came up with out of nowhere. He did not pluck it from the ether. In the beginning, he observed the world, he understood the nature, and then he came up with an explanation in written word in his own language. But if he says it in his own language, then only the people that speak his language can understand it. So what he did is convert and translate that into a math equation. And you know what the cool thing about math is? Is around the whole world, people go to school, learn it, and if you learn it well, then every single person can actually understand it. Math is amazing, guys. It is like having a language that the whole world can learn and speak. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me give you an example just to make this very easy, okay? And this is going to sound very strange if you don't speak Arabic, but here it is. مجموع الطاقة الحركية الميكانيكية زائد مجموع الطاقة الكامنة في نظام يساوي نفس هذه الطاقة الكامنة وكذلك الميكانيكية بعد حدوث الاصطدام أو أي شيء ذلك وهذا لأن الطاقة لا تفنى ولا تستحدث من العدم ولكنها تتغير من شكل إلى آخر Okay, I know Call the exorcist Tell him it's urgent Look at this formula right here This is exactly what I just said And what I said was the kinetic and the potential energy before has to equal the kinetic and energy, uh, the kinetic and potential energy after an interaction has happened, like a collision or whatever, and that is because the conservation of energy, because energy cannot be created, nor it can be destroyed, but it can transform and change from one shape or one type to the other type of energy right? Kinetic, mechanic, electrical, heat, whatever it is. What I just did by saying this strange example is I demonstrated that I can come up with any equation in the world that I want, but it's going to be in my own language and only the people that speak my language can understand it. So in order to change that into a language that everybody else who learned math can understand, I have to write down what I said in form of math. This is the answer to your second question. What actually are formulas? Formulas are just an expression that we can say in the real world, just like in our own language, but it's written in the universal language of math so that everyone can understand it around the world. You know, it's going to make it... It's going to make everything so more, so much more complicated and much more difficult if you have to learn German to understand what a German scientist is saying. So... What we did as human beings, as species, is to create a universal language, which is math, 
and that's to solve this problem. So, yeah, basically the question doesn't really hit, it doesn't really land, it does not make sense. You cannot say, why can't everyone create equations just like these people are doing? Are they just making our life difficult? Are they just coming up with these equations out of the ether from nowhere? Of course not. They are just translating it from their language into math, which we should all speak if you are in the realm of learning science, physics, or whatever it is. And the key is not how to come up with equations, it's how to understand nature. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.